everyone, my name is Phil. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a story called Three Plump Fish, and it's from this book Pocket Full of Puppets by Ravon Winter, and it's illustrated by Nancy Renfro. Um, so it's a story that's um, meant to be told with puppets, but I've turned it into a draw and tell. So I'll give it a go. My drawing's not great, so forgive me. Alright, so this is a story about this fisherman. And this fisherman had this very secret special spot which he always caught the biggest, plumpest, juiciest fish from. So this secret spot was on the edge of a big lake, behind the row of three giant trees. One, two, three. Oh, smudged our trees there. And behind a row of rocks. Now it was a very long way to get to this fishing spot, but when he got there he always stood up right here. So the fisherman sitting here and his fishing rod right next to him there. So as soon as he set up, he cast off a nice big cast through the line right into the middle of the lake. Then in the middle of the lake with a nice big plop. The fisherman sat there for a while watching the line bob up in the water. Oh, it started to feel a little bit sleepy. So it was a long way, and then he, soon his eyes started to get a bit heavy, then he started not, and he nodded off, and he started snoring. Do you want to snore with me? <laughs> and he was sleeping away. While he was asleep, a giant fish got hooked on the end of his line. And because he was asleep, the fisherman didn't realise. While he was snoring away, <laughs> so me, yes, a bushwalker came past and you could see the fisherman sleep, you could see the big fish at the end of the line and thought, oh I'm hungry for my big walk, you know what, I'm going to steal this fish. So he quietly reeled in the line, took off the fish, then he threw the line back out so the fisherman didn't know that anyone had taken his fish. He then crept past the sleeping fisherman, past the trees, past the rock field and set up camp to start cooking his fish, if stolen fish. It was at this stage that the fisherman woke up <sighs> when he started reeling in his line, reeling it in, reeling it in, very excited, he knew he was going to get this nice big juicy fish, but then there's no fish on the end. I thought, oh, this is a bit weird. That's alright, I'll go to my next spot. So he moved down the lake to his next spot, so the fisherman's sitting here and his line next to him right there. Once again he got everything ready and he made a nice big cast when the line went flying into the lake and landed with a nice big plop in the middle of the lake. He sat there for a while watching the line bobbing in the water. He started feeling a bit sleepy again and his eyes got heavy. And then he fell asleep again and started snoring. While he was asleep, he caught another fish. But once again, he was asleep, so he didn't realise. Then another bushwalker came along. He too was very tired and hungry from his long walk and thought, I'm going to take this fish for my lunch. So he too quietly reeled in the fish, threw the line back out so the fisherman wouldn't know that the fish had gone. Then he crept past the sleeping fisherman, past the tree, past the rocks, and set up camp over here to start preparing this fish for his lunch. Is that this stage the fisherman woke again? Whew. And Stanley started to reel in his fish, started to reel it in. And then of course, there's no fish on the end. And he scratched his head. Oh, this is so weird, I always get fish at this spot. Well, I think, uh, maybe something's up. Anyway, I'll go to my last spot on the lake. Now, if I don't get a fish from this spot, I know something's wrong. So he moved down, fisherman sitting here, fishing rod right next to him here. So he set up, once again, baited and everything, and then cast off, nice big cast, it was a very nice big cast this time, into the middle of the lake, landing with a nice big plop. And he sat there watching the line bobbing with the water. The fisherman said to himself, you know, I'm not going to fall asleep this time, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to stay and watch. So he stayed there for a while. And he started to get a bit tired. Started to nod off. 
Oh, no, no, oh. I'm going to watch this, so he stayed there for a while, watching it, and of course, he fell asleep again, started snoring. Big snore of this fisherman. While he was asleep, a third bushwalker came along for a secret spot. A lot of bushwalkers came to this spot. <laughs> so this bushwalker came along and he could see the fisherman asleep and he could see the lion and there was a big fish on the end of the line. And this bushwalker thought, you know what? I'm going to take this for my lunch. So this bushwalker caught quietly and sneakily reeled in the fish, took the fish off, threw the line back out again, and she too crept this bushwalker crept past the sleeping fisherman, past the trees, past the rocks, and set up camp over there to start cooking her fish. So at this stage, the fisherman worked for the third and final time, hmm, a big stretch, oh, and start to reel in the fish, very well in the line. And no fish on the end. But, oh, something has to be up. I always get fish in this lake. Some, something, something a bit fishy is going on here. <laughs> Pardon the pun. So the fisherman looked around and then looked past the trees, past the rocks, and could see three stacks of smoke rising. And then the fisherman sniffed the air, thought, ooh, I can smell some fish cooking. Thought, oh, you know what? Someone's stolen my fish. So he thought, oh, no, I'm going to trick them. So the fisherman went to these three spots, got a line, tied a big rock to the end of each line, and then threw. Cast off three more times. So one, two, three, with a big rock at the end of the line. And on the top of, of top of his voice, the fisherman yelled, Quick, quick, come quick! I caught three of the world's biggest fish. I need help bring them in. And these three greedy bushwalkers, even though they already have a fish, they thought, you know what, we're going to want the big fish. So the three of them all ran from their cooking, huh? past the rocks, past the trees. One, two, all running to start trying to reel in the giant fish. But of course there was a big rock on the end, so they kept tugging and tugging. And then all three of them were pushed, were pulled into the lake with a big splash, 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 they all fell into the lake. Luckily the three bushwalkers could all swim. So while they were swimming back to the lake, the, the, yeah, the lake, <laughs> the edge of the lake, the fishermen went to their camps and went home with three big, plump, juicy fish. And that's the story of the three plump fish.